What's going on everybody, PhysioTrader here, and I wanted to talk about using the Charles Schwab platform. Today I'm gonna to review how to use uh, what is known as a bracket order and how it's specifically only able to be used um, you know, on the Charles Schwab Street Smart Edge platform. And so uh, over today, I'm gonna to review you know, why it's beneficial, why you wanna use it, and even if you don't plan on being next to your computer all day, it is so far superior than setting up phone uh, orders on your phone. So let's jump into it. Um, so over here, I have my Charles Schwab Street Smart Edge platform. You can see I do have uh, 100 shares of the TQs today. Uh, we're up, uh, you know, actually it was around 200 bucks, 225. Now we're down a little bit. Uh, locked in some gains on um, uh, some spy puts. Uh, I was selling spy puts. That's why the red. And then I um, I was selling. I was actually selling a covered call, and I didn't want to be a part of it after this big run up. So I, I could have made that worse. No big deal there. And that was actually I got. Um, stuck out of all of these on these bracket orders. And so um, for, for those of you who are familiar, when, when you enter, so this is options, by the way, and, and for reference sake, whether you're doing options or whether you're doing the shares, it does not matter. And I'll explain and I'll kind of show you how it does not matter. But there's a couple ways, you know, so one, if you're in the trade, then what do you do to manage the trade? And then two, uh, which I, I think I'm actually just gonna make a separate video, is how to uh, do it to initiate, and that would be more what's known as a conditional order. So uh, today we'll focus on the bracket order, and that is if there is you know, a, a point at which you wanna get out versus a point that you want to you know protect your losses for profit. So you can have your, your top part of the bracket would be profit taking, and your bottom part of the bracket if you're going long would be your stop loss uh, you can also have a trailing stop so it goes up with you or if you're shorting then the opposite you would have a a, a buy to cover um, where your your stop losses if it gets to be so high um, and if your um, price gets to be um, so low then you want to take profits and by the way the platform will know if you're short and you're putting in a bracket order it knows that you're closing the position and if you're long then it knows that you're selling in order to rid the position get rid of it so either way it will understand which way to which way to close um, now on the on the um, on your phone uh, with Charles Schwab's um, you know phone their phone app or even from the computer to mine or from the um, you know the iPad type deal you can only put in an either or. You can put in, I want to take profit. Um, and then if you do that, you take profit, but you can't put a stop loss. So if you put in, I want to sell at this point, you can't put a stop loss. So you go to work, you're off doing your own thing. And all day you're like waiting for that trigger to come through on your phone and say, oh, I took profit. Well, wow, awesome, that took it. But you also need to manage risk in the sense of you need to put a stop loss in. This video is beyond that. If you don't know how to put a stop loss in, I will discuss that in a different video. But right now, a stop loss is at what point do you say, you know what, I want out of the trade. I don't care if I'm losing money or if I'm minimizing how much profit I'm taking, but I need to protect my downside. And so uh, when you're trading from your phone, the only option you have is one or the other. But on the platform, it can be either or. And the last benefit of it is, is you can set it up on a day-by-day -day basis. You can set it up to good till cancel, which I think defaults to 60 trading days. Um, so, so two months or so, um, or 60 days, uh, physical days. Uh, trading days would be three months. Uh, uh, real days, it would be, be two months-ish, uh, give or take. And so... Um, but let's get into it because sometimes you're like, okay, wow, that got us really high to where I wanted to be, but not high enough to trigger my profit. But then it plummeted way below my where I would have had a stop had I been watching it. And so that's where you can put in either a trailing stop where it trails upward or trails downward if you're shorting. Um, and it goes with you in that way if you're in like a down channel or an upward channel, it goes with you. But if not, um, and this to my understanding, and I've been using Schwab for like 14 years now. So um, to my understanding, there's only one way to do it. And that is from the platform itself. You cannot do it from your phone, at least at the time of this. And it is 2022, uh, the year 2022, that is. And so what you'll do, and you see these, um, uh, red means that they're filled over in the order status. And um, green would be it's open, but it, it's, it's not open. And then the blue, actually, what it does is it gave me over here, you know, condition, condition. Uh, now one says condition met, which triggered a stop loss exit. And the canceled one was the profit. I did not get to my profit target and I stop loss. And I almost always set my pro uh, my stop losses tighter and my profit farther away. Um, because again, if the thing's on a run, I don't want to stop it. But I also, you know, I don't want to just do a stop loss anyway, because sometimes I do get triggered on the profit taking and that's perfectly fine with me as well. And so what you'll do that is, um, and again, since this is a bracket order, you're only gonna be able to facilitate this once you're in the trade. You're already in, and now you're managing via bracket how you wanna get out. And so what you'll do is, there's a couple ways to do it. And so 
let's see. Um, go to the trade ticket. You can clear brackets. If you do have a bracket, you can just say clear bracket. Like I, I don't want in this anymore. Um, and, and that's fine. You would just essentially close yourself out. Um, but that the easiest way you can do it a couple ways. So this is optimized for options. That's why this is a lot larger. Um, let's go over here. Sorry, things got to load. Um, there's a couple ways you can click right over here into brackets and then it comes down and you basically would set uh, your profit. Now you can also set this up right away too. So if you're in a buy, um, it, you do it actually, I, I take that back. When you do it this way, this is like, okay, let's say I want to buy, um, we'll do it this way. Uh, I want to buy, uh, let's just so I don't accidentally get triggered on this. I want to buy a hundred or one share. Actually, we can make it a hundred. It doesn't really matter. Sorry. Uh, I want to buy a hundred shares if the price gets down to $374. Um, and my timing is day. You can change this from day till immediate or cancel. Or if you want to put it on um, the smart, that's when you can put good till cancel. So if you put on smart, then your options will be good till cancel, fill or kill, or immediate or cancel. Um, but I'm, it doesn't matter. So good till cancel, that would default to 60 days. Um, I have direct access, so I actually, if you do not have direct access, you only have these three. Um, if you want access to the ARCA NASDAQ book, refer to my other video where it talks about how to get uh, direct market access. These get you a much better fill, um, so I'm going to use uh, the NASDAQ. Uh, here's my quantity. I want to buy 100 shares. I want to get 374, or I will, I'm willing to pay $374. I'm not willing to pay a penny less or a penny more. Right now, you can see the price currently is ticking at 300 78 and it's kind of floating right around the VWAP and the 200 period average right here. And so I want to buy that, but I also want to take a special condition and that would be, do I want to take it on points? Uh, and so what you can do is you can say, okay, I want to take it on, you know, if you say one point, that would be a dollar move. And then you could see, so my estimated price to exit would be to to buy and that's of course if i'm going to click buy if i'm going to short then it's going to be down a point um but i also want to put a stop loss in and let's say i want my stop loss to be 373 uh, you know all numbers i had picked out beforehand i have a stop loss and so instead of points which would be you know well 373 points would be only sell me if i'm at one dollar but i actually meant the dollar and so I switched it to price. You can also do a percentage. A lot of people do percentage if they're doing like a trailing stop. Like if you're going to do like a one, um, like a one percent move. Um, I don't know if that'll do that. Yeah, I, I don't use trailing stops. I, I really am just not good at them. I end up putting the wrong number, the wrong point, the wrong percentage, and then I just it, it gets me out of it. Uh, your profit exit is at either below the current bid price or within five percent. Profit exit. Um, your stop loss is either out or above the current bid price. Uh, so it's basically saying is that it's too tight. So realistically, if let's say if this is like you know four points, and let's say this is like three seventy, um, and then I think I'm not even sure if this will go through, um, but that little check mark there just says yes, we have a bracket. Uh, a, achieved there and then you would click buy and then go from there now again I don't want it so what it would do is it would send out um, so I've got my order my order is out there so I have these open contingent orders so the order is open I can close that and just get it out of the way much like I can close all of those um, the order is contingent I am not gonna buy so you can see my buy trigger order cell is right here at buy Nothing happens until I buy at that price at 374. And then once I'm in, this will trigger red, I'm in, and then these will trigger. That's why they're open contingent. There's nothing in there. Much different than these say condition, um, condition. Um, this one says condition met. This one says it was canceled because it was, it was, it's one or the other. But these are open conditions. Am I going to sell? Am I going to get filled between 374 and go all the way down to 370? In which case, I, I, in, at 100 shares, I'm going to take a $400 loss. And if it gets up to uh, 378 to sell at a stop loss versus profit target, then I'm going to make $400. Now, since the market's about to close, I don't want any of this to be here. I'm going to actually just cancel that. So you can just come over here. You can cancel order or you can change the order. And that's if you want to change the parameters that is set beyond it. Um, 
So then you just change the parameters, whatever number you want to be changed, and then you click OK. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that order because I have no desire to do it. Um, I have no desire to be in there. So that's how you do it if you're going to start it up from start to finish. Um, that's one of the ways, at least. There's also another way, which is called a conditional order, which I'm going to do a little bit uh, later in a separate video. Um, and it's really close. It's really similar. Um, but it can get a lot more intricate than that. Um, and then, um, but just a standard bracket order. Let's say you're just in it and you just want to manage a trade. So that one, uh, since I already have position in TQ, it's open. Um, now, how do you do it? So what you'll do here. I'm just going to go over here and click add brackets. Okay. I know I'm already in the position. So it says I'm long at 26.94. Um, and I think that's just moving based on the current price or, or when I click the button because my, my entry is, um, that's okay. That's the bracket start price. I'm actually, that's not my cost basis. Um, but my cost, I've got, uh, you know, I've got a hundred shares. You don't have to do the full lot. Um, you know, I, I can do just partial and um, so you, you pick whatever number you want, 100, uh, profit exit, let's say I want it at uh, $35. I want to sell at $35, and my stop loss is I want no part of this if it goes to $21. Uh, and so at that point, then it would throw in a bracket order. Uh, again, just double checking, so I'll click this. Uh, 100 shares, 35, which would have me making, um, I don't know, like six, 700 bucks on it. Um, so boom, place order, bracket is open, open contingent, and from there. Again, I have no intention of, of facilitating this. Now the difference is, is because I'm in a bracket and the order is not there, I can't come over here and click cancel order. Like you saw me do a little minute, a minute ago when I did it with the, the bracket order. And so that is the difference. And so with this one, notice I click, you know, either one of these. I can't close it. Even if I click the blue one, the whole bracket, I can't close it by doing this. It's so, I don't know why it's silly. It works this way, but essentially you just have to go over here, right click, and you can click either. Um, uh, well, there you go. Uh, let me see here. That doesn't make sense. Where's the cancel bracket? There wasn't, let me see if there's one here. No. I apologize. Um, so edit bracket. So essentially I have to come over here, edit the bracket. And so I'm essentially just going to exit out of this. Um, and so I will place the order in the form of, now it is canceled. So I basically, right there, I just had to exit all out of it um, and just remove the bracket. And as you can see there, it just took the entire order away um, from there. So it's just, it's gone. The, the order bracket is completely gone. Um, so that, although it seems like not a big deal, um, f coming from somebody who has been pennies away from getting my profit target uh, hit, and then it goes way lower and then lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. Um, I just like the peace of mind of knowing that when I'm off seeing patients in my case or you know, off at work, hanging out, doing whatever, just not paying attention to the market because I don't want to be glued to the screen all day. And when you do that, it gives you a lot of peace of mind of just saying, you know what, no, no big deal. I know I've got my brackets set. I know that if it gets so low, my trick, my stop is triggered, and I know if it gets so high, I'm going to start taking profits. And by the way, as I tried to showcase there, you do not have to set the whole profit there. Um, again, this gets more into depth if you want to make those conditional orders where if it keeps getting this high, um, you know, and, and I'll get into that because it can get very intricate and, and very uh, favorable, especially those who are working full time and don't have time to sit at the screen. Um, but the other thing is, I didn't have to click all 100 or, or the full position size. I could have said, all right, at five shares, take profit here. At, you know, um, at another 20 shares, if it gets as high, take more profit, take more profit, just building up and up and up and up. Um, and, but that's where conditional orders are going to play more favorable if you're starting to chunk up your sizes, because that way the conditions can be in the sense of, which I'll get into more then, but in the sense of, okay, if this happens, I want this. If this happens, I want this. If this happens, I want this. Uh, but all of which, if this happens like an absolute then take me out. So I don't care if I'm taking profits along the way, but if we trigger to this level to be a stop, I want out of the position altogether. So um, hopefully this was helpful to you. I'm sorry if I went through it a little quickly and I, it seemed a little disorganized. I did not realize that um, I couldn't just click the cancel button. 
Um, but you know, if you have any questions, reach out in the comment section. Let me know. Happy to go over this a little more in detail. Um, and you know, by all means, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thanks so much. I'll catch you all next one.